Germany's first one-quarter ton truck was born in 1941. Since then, hundreds of thousands of these utility trucks have served throughout the world. Let's meet the latest, refined, product-improved model, the M151A2. Every one of you who drives the M151A2 should be familiar with its capabilities and characteristics so that you can operate it safely. It's important to remember that this is a tactical truck, not a pleasure car. It wasn't built for high-speed highway travel. It was designed to serve as a reconnaissance utility truck over rough terrain. To carry out command and liaison missions across country where no paved roads exist. and to transport troops, light cargo, weapons and ammunition up to forward areas. The quarter-ton truck is commonly used in conjunction with a companion vehicle, the M416 trailer. In other configurations, it serves as an escort guard conveyance. As a frontline ambulance. and as a weapon carrier. The M151A2 has a high road clearance with independent suspension for each wheel. And four-wheel drive. Because it is really a utility truck and not a passenger car, its handling characteristics on the highway are different from the family sedan. We'll talk more about that in a moment. But first, let's take a close look at this new model of the M151 and examine the major changes. The easiest way to tell the A2 from previous models is by any one of these visible new safety features. The large composite lights, front and rear. The one-piece windshield. The deep dish energy absorbing steering wheel and the electric windshield wiper. It also has a mechanical fuel pump, windshield washers, plus a number of other improvements. 
but the single most significant change is not easily visible. It's the new trailing arm suspension underneath the rear of the truck. This modified rear suspension system improves the overall stability and handling characteristics of the utility truck. It replaces the swing arm suspension used in the M151A1 model. Another improvement on the M151A2 is that the steering linkage and ball joints located up front are lubricated for life. Even with the new trailing arm suspension, there is very little body lean when turning. Therefore, you get very little warning that the truck is approaching its stability limits. Let's contrast this with a conventional passenger car. Notice how the body leans as it rounds a curve. The driver gets a real indication of the vehicle's critical limitations. And when you get excessive lean, you know you're taking the turn too fast. For an exact comparison, let's see how these vehicles perform when going around the same curve at the same speed. These specially mounted test rods will make it easier to demonstrate the difference in body lean. We'll begin with the standard passenger sedan with soft coil springs. Notice the body lean. Let's compare this with the action of the M151A2 truck. It takes the curve at the same speed. But notice the difference in the degree of body lean. Not as much as the sedan, but enough to give you the feel of the truck so that you can judge its stability. The M151A2 has good stability when operating with its maximum payload of 1,200 pounds on the highway. And 800 pounds cross country. However, when operating with any load over any terrain, exercise caution. Remember, this is a cross-country truck, not a high-speed vehicle. Being careful is the key to safe operation of any Army vehicle, including this one. The fact is, the M151A2 is one of the best trucks ever developed by the Army. It's been thoroughly tested and released for use. This is a safe truck, provided that you maintain it properly and operate it within the limitations outlined in your manual. Remember, the M151A2 is actually a utility truck and should be driven like one. How fast should you drive the quarter ton? That depends on road conditions and local traffic laws. All of us have a tendency to drive a little faster on the open road. Stay on good terms with your speedometer.
but you've got to be careful that you don't take curves too fast in this truck. And don't oversteer. This truck isn't built like a conventional car. You only have to turn the steering wheel a couple of inches on a curve like this. Use common sense when you drive. Obey the rules. Apply your brakes with a light motion. But keep this in mind. The quarter ton has good stability even in emergencies. To demonstrate this, a test driver will simulate a possible accident situation. If you do run off the highway, never make an abrupt turn to get back on it. This could cause you to overturn. Instead, slow down to a stop to regain control. Shift into four-wheel drive if necessary and ease back onto the road. Or, if you drift onto the shoulder, again, ease back onto the road. Now, let's talk about another driving emergency. One which may arise in wet weather, in snow, or where the roadbed is loose. What do you do when you hit this type of road surface and the rear end of the truck starts to skid? Slow down. If the skid is to the left, turn the steering wheel to the left. Let's look at that again. To correct a skid to the left, turn left. In the same way, you can correct a skid to the right by turning right. Always turn in the direction of the skid. But the best way to prevent the rear end from skidding is to slow down when approaching a curve and slow way down when the road surface is slippery. Tests have proved that the M151A2 has improved handling characteristics and that it is as reliable as any other current tactical vehicle. But it is not a tank, so don't drive it like one. When you are pulling the M416 trailer with a highway load of 1,320 pounds or a cross-country load of 1,070 pounds or less, remember to securely fasten the trailer safety chains. Remember that the trailer has no brakes. That's a lot of extra weight to control. You've got to compensate for it over rough ground and around curves. When the 106 millimeter recoilless rifle is mounted, the truck becomes the M825 quarter ton weapon carrier, a special purpose vehicle. Addition of the weapon and its M79 mount raises the center of gravity two inches. Therefore, the M825 should be used at lower speed and with greater care than the standard M151A2. The M825 should never tow a trailer, and it should not be used without its weapon as a utility truck. This is true of quarter-ton trucks, which have had the suspension modified to carry heavy loads. When adapted for use as a frontline ambulance, the quarter ton is designated as the M718A1.
when there is only one litter patient, he should always be carried on the lowest rack. This prevents the truck from becoming top heavy. However, this version of the quarter ton truck was designed for an emergency third litter capability. Never use this truck to pull a trailer. We have demonstrated how the M151A2 should be operated both across country and on regular roads. You're not going to win any drag races in a quarter ton, so don't try. This is a tactical vehicle, a truck. It's not intended for high speeds on the highway. Most of you who operate the quarter ton truck wear two hats. You also have another army job. But when you're behind the wheel, your only military specialty is that of driver. Be a good one. Whether you drive the M151A2 by itself or with the M416 trailer attached, the M718A1 ambulance, or the M825 weapon carrier, these are safe trucks when operated properly. And that depends on you.